Hello, welcome guys. Today uh, we will understand about the banking domain. So what are the different uh, areas which are available into the banking domains, right? So as you know, like uh, in banks, uh, we have so many different areas. Uh, so we'll uh, understand a little bit about it and then finally we'll move into uh, uh, the area of a bank which I'll be taking all those sessions for that is nothing but the payments. So let's get started. So this is bank, right? Now bank, we from externally we know that uh, there is a bank and uh, bank does some payment related things. But be, beside that, uh, there are a lot of things uh, that banks take care of it, and there are so many uh, areas of a bank which needs to be taken care. Of. Like for example, let's start. We have. We have like uh, retail services. Retail services slash banking. We have then uh, insurance. Nowadays, the banks are taking care of the insurance part as well. And then we have home loan slash mortgage. It's basically, you know, or, or maybe I'll, I'll further illustrate into the lending. So under lending, you have this home loan, mortgage, and personal loan, then gold loan, and all types of secured and non-secured loans comes over here. Right? So here you have checking, checking uh, account, savings account and then so on you know different aspects of it uh, which takes care into this uh, retail banking side and then you have insurance you know uh, there is a different kind of insurance called car or it the uh, personal I mean life insurance and then casualty and so on right same way we have this uh, core banking and then uh, we, we can take one payments which we will understand and take so in core banking <coughs> again you know there are like so many other aspects where uh, uh, customer details uh, captured C CRM is there and uh, uh, all, all those details related to accounts will be captured here you know when you open the account all those details will be available into your core banking system and all those data will be pulled up so and so on you know and then payments finally we have uh, uh, you know domestic uh, domestic payment then we have uh, uh, international payment right and so many other aspects under it so these are the different areas which are available into the banking domain and uh, the opportunities can come any of in any of the domain but uh, we will be focusing more in this payment related domain we will understand more about domestic payment and the international payment in depth what exactly happens when you initiate a payment and then uh, for the for the uh, domestic payments for example if you want to initiate a payment uh, within India if you want to let's say uh, my friend is having account in ICICA bank and I have account in SBI bank so in that case, we do not need international SWIFT payments for that. We, need, we can initiate using our domestic payments system, any of it, which can be any FT or it be the local RTGS or UPI or any any of it, right? Any of the services. So that's what we'll understand deep about those domestic payments and the international payments. And uh, thank you. That's all for today's session.